trying not to fall. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So, um, as you can see, uh, I'm number three on the, on the ballot there. I don't necessarily look like my other two persons who were ahead of me. Um, yeah, um, yeah, with the blue hair, I'm the blue hair Jamaican. Um, but that doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't matter to me. Um, I come from, well, I am Jamaican, and I was nominated by Tina Morris. So Aaron 39 was actually my very first uh, Aaron. So I was a fellow at, um, at Aaron 39, and I'm a fellow here now. Uh, my exposure to Aaron was about six years ago. I would take part remotely. I've always been on the, on the, on the mailing list, so I'm aware of what's happening. Um, so it was quite surprising to get an email um, in July, I think it was at the end of July, with, um, you know, would you like to be nominated, you know. Um, fairly inexperienced, however, very passionate about data protection and um, privacy and all of those things. So I've gone through, you know, internet governance and that sort of thing. Um, my background, so you hear a Jamaican accent, but there's a, there's... <laughs> I'm hearing no, um, but there's also a bit of a British accent as well because I spent a lot of time in London. So I'm, I studied at London Metropolitan University. I did business IT. I worked with Learn Direct, which is the adult education arm of the UK government. So I did lots of training and I did, and I've always been a member of the British Computer Society as well. So I have a very varied background. Um, when I returned to Jamaica, um, it was to make sure that some of the lessons that I was able to learn overseas, I was able to bring that back to Jamaica. Um, this is like totally not what I even wrote. But um, so the charity that I'm actually working with, we go into primary schools and introduce visual coding to students. Um, a story that I've been sharing since I've been here is that we have um, a number of communities that have um, you know, been broken up because mom and dad go away to study. But what we're doing, we're trying to, to, to educate families and students that if they can learn to code, say the minimum wage in Jamaica, the weekly minimum wage is $50 for the week, as opposed to a coder who is base, one, uh, maybe uh, uh, 1,500. Um, so what we're trying to say to them is that you don't need to break up families, you don't need to go abroad and become, you know, your kids become barrel children as well. Um, so that's where my passion is. But back to data protection, um, when I worked in London, I worked with very diverse groups of persons who had to flee where they're from, their comfort zone, their homes, and went into a country where um, they didn't know anyone and they weren't protected. An educational institution needs to be careful of what they keep, um, the information that they keep. So I was very early in the whole data protection movement in the UK, and I was very adamant. And every role that I've ever gone into, I've been very adamant about how to protect that information. But I'm also very big on access to information. <laughs> So there's a, there's a little bit of a tug of war, but I am the person who will advocate for the Caribbean, advocate for the end users, and that's me, Kerry, from the Caribbean, from Jamaica. I think that's more than two minutes. Thank you.